You poor bastards will never get the sideswipe video. Transformers 10 and 40 this year, huh? You old bastard. Still no wife? No kids? Just plastic. Just plastic everywhere. You know what? I feel like I should have talked about Optimus Prime a little bit more. I mean, he's the main guy of the whole thing, and what? There's like... I made like four videos on him. And most of those were just remakes. So for the 40th anniversary, let's get an oldie in here. Oh god, the box is too big. This is the Transformers Generation 1 Optimus Prime. But black. I don't know why he's black, he just kind of came like that. I love this retro cartoony ass box art. Like, it looks so accurate to the toy, and like, that's not how, that's not how hands work. Oh my god, the, <laughs> this is the best thing on, of anything. This is, it does, this is the best thing ever made by man in the history of man. You don't get much better than that. Taking him out of the box off camera because I, I have no room for that crap. All this styrofoam stuck on the poor bastard. Out of the box, you get the toy, some runners, some stickers, screw off, and the instructions. Colored instructions? What kind of alternate dimension bullcrap are we living in? Anyway, so the toy. Um. Let's do the cab first, you know, get, maybe do the trailer a bit later. The truck is very nice, um, out- I styrofoam. The truck is very nice. It's got some nice, good plastic and some nice, dense, die-cast metal. Feeling a little cold right there, fellas. Uh, job is on. And, uh- Bastard. It rolls, as rolling things should. A little rough, but it rolls. It does have rubber tires, by the way. Very squishy. The something I've noticed with. Would you like to know more? All of the detail that is not just black or chrome actually is stickers. And my big problem with the stickers is that nine times out of ten they could not stay on. I literally had to glue some of these on. This one still isn't staying. And these two at the would-be knees are also kind of peeling off a little bit. I should probably glue those ones down too. But you know, it's fine. I love the little divots down there. You can see the individual divots molded and the nice chrome paint. Uh, it's a little scuffed on mine, but that's fine. It's it's not that bad. Very happy that uh that uh, the um that uh it uh I. Don't like the piss yellow windows though. That's that's kind of stupid. Now that's pretty much all we gotta talk about for the truck mode. So before we do that, let's move on to the trailer. You know, to the untrained eye, this might just look like a box, which it is. But you can also open it up. Ain't that something? Oh, this, this styrofoam. No. Oh. You can also flip these little thingies out, and then. <laughs> Battle station, why is, it, why is that upside down? Battle station. This is Roller, a little goober that uh, works for Optimus. And if you press this little button back, oh god, he's gone. He can seat four Diaclone drivers. I'm not elaborating on that, screw you. And you can pull this bastard up here to pull the claw arm. Flip this little radar dish up, which does have a little spin me do back here. The frick? Don't want to lose that. Get back, get back in there, you freaking bastard. This can also see a Diaclone driver, and it also has a little claw grabby action. Moving on to this side, we have storage for Optimus Prime's fusion cannon, the inferior fusion cannon, if I do say so myself, and also his little gas nozzle thingy. But wait, there's more! Press this button and... Where did, where did that go? Where did that go? This isn't its only mode! If we move the goofy little arm up here, close this up, and close the door, you can do this! 
or you can configure this thing down, close these up, and close that. You can do this! But wait, there's mo- This is not a real mode. Hasbo, this is not a real- You lied to me, this is not- This, this is bull- Robot mode. Wait, that's it? That that didn't take up a good 45% of the video? That was so easy, I'm... I have so much free time, I could... I could... Make the Cause 2 video- No, no, that would be stupid. So the painting and the sculpting on these gays- <laughs> I know words. This thing is probably older than most of you guys watching, so I'm not gonna judge this on the same criteria as the majority of things on this table. I'm gonna judge it on how much fun I'm having. By the way, his feet are made of metal, I think I forgot to mention that. This is definitely not an excuse to touch his feet, I swear. You know, you think because of the limited articulation, he'd be a lot easier to knock over, but... Actually, no! You see, the rubber from the tires makes contact with the ground, and that actually gives it a good amount of friction. <laughs> Accessories-wise, he came with all of that. And also this slim barrel ion blaster. He does not actually hold it by the handle, he holds it by the magazine for some reason. And that fits nicely, not at all. You see, the way he holds the magazine, uh, makes it so that the handle of the gun is actually putting pressure on the arm, so unless he holds it diagonally, he can't, like, properly hold his gun very well. That's probably the reason why they included this second, thicker barrel gun with a longer magazine handle, which allows him to hold the gun much, much better. So I guess that makes this gun kind of useless. And with that gun, you can get him into some pretty good poses, not really. Sticker... Nothing at the head, not even a rotation. Full rotation at the arm, it's actually ratcheted. Backwards butterfly. He has a ratcheted elbow, which goes 90 degrees exactly, and also... Bicep rotation! He also has a wrist rotation, if any of you care. Oh, that fell off. Now for an older figure, the articulation at the top is actually pretty amazing. But as soon as you go below the waist, it falls apart. Just like your mom. The legs do not go forward. At all. But they do go back a little bit. They have knees. And toe. The posability is pretty good for an old toy, but, you know, it will just not hold up with anything that comes out to- wait. When did that come out? Oh. Uh, no, never mind, this thing still holds up, kind of. So. Um. Uh. Skeletor. Godzilla. This loser. And... Optimus. 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 And Optimus Prime. Well, this toy? It's pretty good! This thing is an absolute blast, man. It's super fun to play around with. It's super fun to just kind of like have at your desk and mess around with when you're ignoring homework or your job. It's surprisingly poseable for the time. Like, seriously, I have a good amount of G1 figures and they're all bricks. It comes with a lot of stuff and it's just. It's nice. You can totally see why they picked this guy to be the main one, right? Like, he just gives off that aura of fun father-like charm. So yeah, I totally recommend this to any Transformers fans. 
if you can find it for a reasonable price. Like, all of the problems I have with it are really just jokes. There's nothing I truly think is that bad with it. It's genuinely just a really fun time. If you're a Transformers fan, pick this up. This truly is the seed that grew into a million Allobots. Allobots? What the frick? Like, the only problem I really had with it was that gun. <laughs> Ha 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 